What's that shrill sound? Ah, that's your phone alarm clock ringing at 6 a.m. But a few more minutes of sleep can't hurt. Hit that snooze button and get back to your comfy warm bed. Bring! There it is again! But it's only 6.09 a.m. What an odd amount of extra time. The thing is, iPhone alarm app and a lot of other digital clocks decided to keep the 9-minute snooze to honor the clockmakers and clocks from the past. Before digital clocks appeared on your phone or side tables, engineers were held back to 9-minute periods because of the gears in the standard clock. And even when clocks changed and evolved, simplicity was still the way to go for designers. A single-digit snooze was easier to program than a double-digit one. In January 2007, 42 minutes into his speech, Steve Jobs announced the release of the first Apple's market-changing smartphone. The time on the screen of the phone read 9.42. This quickly became the time seen on every Apple commercial, print ad, and even on the company's website. That all changed in 2010. The first iPad was revealed by Steve Jobs, but the release time was changed to 9.41. This time is now set on all iPhones, Macs, and all other Apple products. Fubbing is the term for people who get so absorbed in their cell phones that they ignore everything around them. This includes other people, for example, (laughs) at dinner or mid-conversations. I remember we used to call them smartphone zombies for those walking on city streets oblivious to stuff like, you know, traffic. Modern smartphones have more computing power than the computers NASA had in Apollo 11 over 50 years ago. And those computers helped the mission get to the moon. Your cell phone now has around 100,000 times the spacecraft's processing power, and its memory is over 1 million times bigger than that of the Apollo spacecraft. And not only that, Voyager 1 and 2 have only 70 kilobytes of memory each. Any phone with 16 gigabytes of memory is 240,000 times more powerful than either of these spacecraft. Bacteria is on everything that's handled a lot. Per square inch, a kitchen counter can have 1,700 bacteria, a pet bowl over 2,000, and a doorknob can be covered with nearly 9,000 germs. But your cell phone carries way more bacteria than that. Phones are covered with over 25,000 germs. Compare that to a toilet seat with only about 1,200 bacteria per square inch. Think about that next time you hold your gadget near your face. Martin Cooper, the inventor of the cell phone, made the first public call in 1973 on a two-pound device. It could only be used for a 30-minute conversation after charging for 10 hours. Martin, who worked for Motorola, called his rival at Bell Labs. The man gleefully told his competitor what he was using to make this call, the very first cell phone. It took the device another 10 years to become available to the general public. That cell phone was the Motorola Dynatac 8000X. It could only store 30 contacts, but cost about $4,000. That's over $10,000 today if you take into account the inflation. People spend over 4 hours a day on their phones. That's nearly 1,500 hours a year. Americans, on average, check their phones 96 times a day. That's once every 10 to 15 minutes. 17 seconds is the fastest time ever to type a 25-word text message on a touchscreen cell phone. Marcel Fernandes Filho from Brazil used the Flexi keyboard technology in November 2014. Marcel beat the first-ever mark in this category, which was set in March 2010, by 18 and a half seconds. The words he typed were, the razor-toothed piranhas of the genera Sarasalmus and Pygocentris are the most ferocious freshwater fish in the world. In reality, they seldom attack a human. Yeah, that sure rolls right off the tongue. Cell phone bills can sneak up on you. But Selena Ahrens received a bill of a lifetime. Her cell phone bill came to $201,000, and it wasn't a mistake. Selena's brother, who used his sister's phone plan, communicated with her via text messages and downloaded movies while on vacation in Canada. It had never been a problem before, thanks to a standard data plan. But this time, his data roaming wasn't turned off. Luckily, the phone company reduced the bill to just $2,500. Hey, thanks for calling! Here's your bill, brother! Selfies have taken over the world of social media. Good thing phone manufacturers have adapted to how we take our photos. Cameras on most phones are located in the top left corner because most people tilt their heads slightly to the right when taking selfies. This allows a more natural shot. It's also easier to make sure the camera is lined up for the perfect shot. The hand placement is pretty important too. Cameras on the back of most phones are on the left because right-handed people are more numerous. 
But now, more and more manufacturers put cameras in the middle. iOS isn't the most widely used operating system. Android systems make up over 80% of the global market. And Samsung is the world's most popular phone brand, taking nearly 20% of the market. Millions of people have nomophobia. It's the fear of not having any connection or losing your phone. This condition is becoming so common with the advancements in technology that doctors have begun to study it more and more. Back in 2012, when iPhone sales were the highest, Apple was selling around 340,000 cell phones a day. That's nearly 125 million phones that year alone. Smartphones contain precious metals, including gold, silver, copper, and platinum. There's so much gold in iPhones that one ton of these smartphones can deliver 300 times more gold than a ton of gold ore. Most phones are also full of rare earth metals. Those are elements that are plentiful in Earth's crust, but extremely difficult to mine. All because they're found within other minerals, making them costly to extract. Over 35 billion mobile devices are connected to the internet today. That's over 4 devices per person. There are nearly 8 billion people on the planet, and more than half of them have cell phones. At the same time, less than half of the world's population own a toothbrush. Nokia was never just a cell phone company. They also used to sell toilet paper and tires before getting into the cell phone business. The company started as a paper mill in 1865. And it wasn't until the 1980s that Nokia became the biggest cell phone giant in the world. This company also has a record for its best-selling phone models, the Nokia 1100 and 1110. More than 250 million of these phones have been sold since their launch date. Now, Bluetooth was called this way after a Nordic king. His name was once wrongly translated as Harold Bluetooth. Bluetooth was supposed to be only a temporary name, meaning unifying PC and cell phones. It was going to be changed to radio wire or pan. But before the launch, the producers didn't manage to secure these names. This made Bluetooth the only choice. The name was catchy enough and stuck. As for the Bluetooth logo, it consists of the combined initials of Harold Bluetooth. Good thing they didn't use ferret face. The farthest distance a cell phone has ever been thrown is more than 360 feet. On August 27, 2014, Belgium held its National Mobile Phone Throwing Championship. That's when a javelin thrower hurled the phone for over the length of a soccer pitch. I'll bet you can throw it further if you're angry. The Sonom XP3300 is an extremely tough phone. It survived a drop test from a remarkable 82 feet onto the pavement below with no operational damage. That's more than a quarter of the height of the Statue of Liberty. No wonder the phone made it to the Guinness World Records for being the toughest cell phone. The previous record holder, JCB Tough Phone, only managed to survive a fall from a measly 10 feet. You'd expect to see more cell phone towers and antennas around the world, but engineers can be quite sneaky hiding them in plain sight. They're often disguised as signs, flagpoles, plastic trees, drain pipes, telephone poles, and weather vanes. The most expensive cell phone in the world costs $48.5 million. This gadget is made up of 24 karat gold and decorated with an enormous pink diamond on the back. It also comes with a platinum coating and anti-theft protection. Hmm, you think? A smartphone was sent into space in 2013. A Google Nexus phone was launched into orbit to check the protection of the components under vacuum conditions. It was also used to control a satellite while in space. Yeah, but did anybody use it to call their mother? There's a phone game that involves you throwing your phone into the air as high as you can and then catching it. The game realizes if you've been playing wrong or cheating and can ban you. So if you're going to play, make sure you play by the rules. And if you're using that JBC Tough phone, you better not miss.